Yes, guys. Good morning to all. I will now do a walk video along Colorado Road, starting from the Ministry of Foreign Affairs and Foreign Trade Building and the Fujitsu ICL and Warrior Bank of Canada at Charleston Park. This is the Barbados Vocational Training Board Headquarters at the Lawrence Greenhouse. Better refer to as case training. And this is the statue of Sir Frank Walker, who is a national hero of Barbados. Known to many as Frank by name or Frank by nature. This statue was unveiled by the Prime Minister, Owen Arthur, and the, and the wife of the Frank Walker, whose name is Lady Pauline Walker. It was unveiled on the 20th of April 2003. April 28th is our National Heroes Day here in Barbados. We have been celebrating Heroes Day on the 20th of April ever since 1998. And he's a National Hero of Barbados, the Frank Walker, known as Frank by name or Frank by nature. He was a member of the Labour Movement here in Barbados. He was born in 1916 and died in 1999. Take a look at the Vocational Training Board Headquarters, Lawrence Greenhouse. This is where you can learn a trade. We in Barbados refer to it as skills training. This is where you learn a trade such as carpentry, garment making, um, auto body repair, machinery, and so on, and carpentry. But this is the headquarters, you, you fill out your farms here and then you go to your various institutions that they are sending you to. Most of young people attend that course and they get a stipend at the end of every two weeks. So again, this is the Ministry of Foreign Affairs and Foreign Trade Building. And this is all colored and world. And this is the government analytical services here. And this is the National Insurance Scheme Building. This was built here sometime in the 90s to replace the structure that was demolished in February 2020 to make way for the new Golden Square Freedom Park. This building here. But this move here before the building was demolished. But this building was the old national insurance. This was a replacement for the old building in town. I think another government office moved into that building before it was demolished. Come back and find Wal Walcott statue and the Colonial Road National Insurance Building. And these are all the government vehicles. We want the national insurance scheme. National insurance scheme building. They are fixing the power lines or something like that out here. National Insurance Scheme Building, known as the Frank Walcott Building. Now approaching Culloden Farm, where our first Prime Minister, Father of Independence and National Hero, the right excellent El Walton Barrow, once lived. And this is in our National Insurance Annex. Uh, this is a little walkway, a little pathway to the Bayland Bayville area. They had to cut the bush because a young lady was raped. I think she was killed as well. She was raped severely through here, one thing. So they had to cut the bush. 
which will lead back to the Bearland area. Bearland, Bearville area, the Bear Primary School, and the whole entire Bearland area. Colonel Farm, future home of the Duke of Edinburgh International Awards. This is the residence of our first Prime Minister, father of independence and national hero, Sir Earl Right Excellent Earl Walton Barrow, who was born on the 21st of January 1920 and died the 1st of June 1987. He was only 67 years. He used to live here, even though he was born in the parish of St. Lucie in a place called Fairfield. He used to live here. The building is now dilapidated and in a state of disappear and abandoned. And this was a fountain outside of his house. Come back at a national insurance scheme building. So this is Colorado Farm here. This was the home of our first Prime Minister, father of independence, our national hero, the right excellent Ever Walton Barrow. We really no star in the falls of a shelter here for a few minutes. This is the National Insurance on it. The National Insurance Scheme building over here. I'm gonna find a walk-up building. National Library Service has a storeroom for the books up here as well, in this area. There's the National Library Service Annex, um, it's to our room here. And there's a track here, this, behind this basketball court, that will take you back to a place called Henry's Lane, where, which is just a lower column rock by St. Gabriel's School. You can see the St. Gabriel's Primary School, which is a Roman Catholic school. St. Gabriel's School, which is that between the, the back of it is the Bear Land, but the front of it is Henry's Lane, a lower column rock. And this is the basketball court here. You can get the Henry's Lane from a track between these trees here, between these bushes, between these trees. The National Insurance Scheme Building and the National Insurance Annex and Colonel Farm. Here again. So there are three Roman Catholic schools in close proximity to each other. There's the one there at Colonel, the St. Gabriel's. You can also get this is the entrance to the National Disabilities Unit. And this is Cedar Place. This is not the Frederick Lane Drive. And the British High Commission, the back of the British High Commission over here. The National Disabilities Unit. At the lower column rock. And we are looking straight at the Ursuline Convent School. It's a primary and secondary school. I read an article in the newspaper that they were planning to discontinue with the Ursuline Convent School here in Barbados because not enough nuns, not enough people are joining the Roman Catholic nuns, so there are not enough young ladies, so they were planning to discontinue with the school in 2023, in August 2023. I'm not sure if they're still going to go ahead of that plan. National Disability Unit. And this is Cedar Place, which is the offshore bank. So this is the Ursuline Convent School here at Lower Column Rock. You can see the chapel. And the nunnery is also here as well where the nuns live. So the, part, the secondary school is St. Ursula's Convent or the Ursuline Convent. And the primary school is St. Angela's. And this is Lower Column Rock that will take you back to the St. Patrick's Roman Catholic Cathedral and School, which is just down below here by Purity Bakeries. Purity Bakeries is right here. And also the Queen Elizabeth Hospital is just down the road from here and Bridgetown as well. Frederick Lane Drive and Cedar Place. Lower 
the Murat. And this road here to the left is not a George Street. That will take you back to Belleville. So the bottom part here is George Street and the top part is Pine Road and the avenues from 1 to 11 is Belleville. See that place again with the offshore bike. And this is the British High Commission, the British and New Zealand High Commission. British and New Zealand High Commission here and this is the, this building here is the former Nemville Insurance Company which later became Salicor this is Salicor Financial Center now and the green building next to it is the former Mutual Bank Mutual bank was here until 2003 when Sazicar took over it. So that's now a part of Sazicar. That's Sazicar number two, and this is Sazicar number three here. Where a citizens bank is also in there as well. And this is Insurance Association of the Caribbean Inc. Thomas Pierce Building. And Sergeant Car 1 is at the back here at George Street in Belleville. And this is the Equity Insurance Limited here. Insurers, homeowners, motor vehicle, business insurance, and marine health and cargo equity. This is Lower Column Rock. Straight ahead will be Upper Column Rock. And the left there will be the Belleville, where um, Point Road, and the right turn will be by the Column Colorado Road. Equity insurance building here. Four player Delhi was in here one time, but I don't see nothing in here anymore. Equity Insurance is Limited. And this is Sagi Car, a part of Sagi Car. This is the Evermandeville Associates as well. A part of Sagi Car. And this is the Fire Walk Up building known as the National Insurance Scheme Building. Morning. National Insurance and it. National Insurance and it's known as the, the Humphrey Walcott Building. Where you can drop in your green farm for your unemployment benefit. And this is the Ministry of Foreign Affairs and Foreign Trade Building. Back to Colorado Road. Back to where I started. A closer view now to the Fujitsu IC and the Royal Bank of Canada building. It's 
next where the hell will be Point Road. The left turn here will be Colorado, will be Lower Column Rock. And the right turn, the little right turn will be to Bishop, Sk Bishop Sport Hill and Upper Column Rock. That's where the hell will be to Point Road. The Humphrey Walk Up Building. Ministry of the Civil Service, NIS Unemployment Office, and the Personnel Administration Division. Colorado Road, St. Michael, which is just one minute away from Bridgetown, which is the country's capital. Charleston Park well, Thanks for watching though and have a blessed morning